Welcome to this edition of Radio Waves. I'm Glenn, VK2HTV in Sydney, Australia. Today, we're looking at this cardboard box. No, it's the DX Commander, and it's the Expedition Series. So we're going to have a look at that and go through some of the build and then test it out. The first thing I want to say is that I purchased this DX Commander. It comes with a list of parts. The first thing is the pole, some shock cord, some paracord, some hose clamps, the glue lined heat shrink, the clear aquarium tubing, plus the harder tubes to secure the wire to the top part of the pole. And then these associated parts, which are carabiners and wing nuts and forks, plastic snap carabiners, wing nuts, some stainless steel washers, the spade fork connectors and with these spade fork connectors there's only the one type supplied. I will get into that a little bit later. The SO239 with the fork connector on and some waterproofing tape. The plastic plates and the aluminium plates. The assembly is pretty straightforward. The first thing I did is got a 10 millimeter spanner and that's to tighten up the bolts on the bottom of the radial plate. So the radial plate is the one that looks like the uh, fat spider web and the element plate is the diamond one. So you unscrew the bottom of the pole and then put on the radiating plate and then the element plate goes on top. So I've connected the SO239 there underneath one of the elements and that way I can actually attach one of the elements actually on the top. Now I've prepared the hose clamps there. You get three hose clamps. And what I've done is I've put on the smaller one, uh, 12 millimetres of the aquarium tube. And then he supplies two of the larger ones. And then I've actually put 15 millimetres of aquarium tube on that. What I wanted to do is try and get as much aquarium tube on as I could so it doesn't rub against the pole because I have seen some people install it with almost hardly any aquarium tube, which is probably fine, but I just wanted to make sure that there was no chance of scraping the pole as much as possible. So the, the theory I have is put as much aquarium tube on as you can so you can still use the aquarium tube and it does still connect, but just so it does protect, the whole idea of the aquarium tube is to protect the pole. So there they are, there's the three different hose clamps, two larger ones and one smaller one, supplied with this kit. The ground radials, I'm making up 20 three and a half metre length ground radials, so that's four per spade connector. Now, I couldn't fit four pieces of wire on the spades that uh, DX Command have provided so I just went out and bought a packet of yellow spade connectors which seem to be the larger size uh, or larger diameter hole to be able to put four larger wires in there. I think uh, the way the Callum was explaining in one of the videos is that uh, you just use as minimal wire as you can and twist them together but I still found it pretty hard to fit four wires into that one spade connector and in fact I've actually done it in uh, 
uh, sets of two spade connectors and that uh, seems to work fine. It's only a very minor thing. The elements that I'm interested in are the 40, 20, 15 and 10 and the 40 and the 15 are the same element. So I've got some of those beads which are those numbering beads you can get uh, for uh, making necklaces and other things. Uh, put those on to identify the different elements. Now for the ground radials, I've used a different cable than what uh, Callum has supplied. I wanted to keep some of that good DX10 to make another 80 metre element at a later stage. Plus, I also figured that if I made a few mistakes, uh, I could still use the DX wire to uh, uh, put on as the elements. And the wire that I've got is, is simply just uh, wire that you can get from an electrical wholesaler. It works perfectly. Uh, well, good morning, and this is the day after installing the DX Commander. Uh, and we've had a bit of a collapse, as you can see. There are no taut elements here. Yes, so we've had the uh, middle, well, three down collapse into itself. Uh, possibly because we don't have a smaller clamp like this one up higher so we'll have to investigate that and uh, we'll see what uh, we can do with that that is the thumb hose clamp I guess it's called a thumb hose clamp where you use your thumb to uh, tighten it up and I've used that on one of the center sections there which I found after about a day or two I was getting a collapse in that section so that seems to have sorted that eventually I think I might even replace all of the hose clamps with the thumb screw ones especially if I'm going to use it portable that way I don't have to carry a screwdriver around now I haven't used the guy wire that uh, was supplied by DX Commander I've used these red ones which are basically are just easy to see in the dark they actually do have a a little fleck in them that is uh, reflective and then I've used these little yellow dog clips which it makes it very easy to create a bit of tension and then just on the plate you might be able to see the black clip there and that black clip is easy to get on and off it's just a little clamp so it just makes it very easy to set up and, and put down and I've designed it like this effectively for a portable operation uh, the way that uh, some of the stuff that came with it is effectively f good enough uh, but I just wanted to make it as quick and easy to set up as possible.